let us prepare an expandable Percipient gun chart, starting with three tasks. So we begin with the task ID, which is sequence mm -hmm. count A of this ID for the entire column B. And one column incremented by one, starting from one and incremented by one. And enter. So these are our IDs, task IDs. And the predecessor, which is a selector column. So data validation, starting from C2 to C, and from a range, which is A to up to the A, and hit OK, and save. Now the entire predecessor column is filled with selector. Next, we continue with the end week, which is equal to R formula of the start week column plus the duration column. And enter. And we don't want to see this, so we'll correct the formula. So using the if statement, so if So if the A column is empty, if the A column is empty, then empty. Otherwise, calculate. Now it's corrected. This is now cleaned. Next, we continue with the start week column, which is equal to an if statement, if the predecessor is equal to the ID, then there is no predecessor. Otherwise, we look up. We look up the predecessor from the ID column and the end we column. And we lock the reference. So enter. So if the predecessor is one, so meaning task one has no predecessor. So it begins at week zero. If task two follows after task one, that is, we have to copy this. So if task two comes after task one, that means it begins at week five, right after task one. If task three comes after task two, It begins at week 8, that is, at the end week of task 2. Next, we complete the timeline column, which is a spark line of start week and duration. Curly bracket, our chart type will be bar. Will be bar. And color one will be white. It will be white. And the maximum will be the maximum of the end week. The end week column. And we lock the reference. Complete the curly bracket and complete the parenthesis. The expert complete the parenthesis of the mark, the maximum. Complete the curly bracket 
and complete the spark line. So if we drag this, task two comes after task one, and task three comes after task two. And we complete the start date column. Let's say our project the start date will be today, which is today. Enter. So that's today's date. Our start date will be equal to our array formula. The start date plus the start week. The start week times seven. Because there are seven days in a week. We don't want to see this because this is empty. So we'll correct this. So if so if the ID column is empty, then it's empty. Enter. Now this is clean. We we'll continue with the ending. This is equal to our formula. Today, the, the starting project date, the, the project start date, plus the end week, the entire end week column, times seven. Enter. Again, we need to remove this. We correct this formula. That is, if the ID column If the ID column is empty, then it's empty. So the ID column is A2 to A. And if it is empty, then it's empty. Otherwise, calculate. Now it's clean. Let's say I'd like to add three more tasks. And I'll put in the task four will take maybe six weeks. Task five will take four weeks. And task six will take two weeks. And next, I'll drag this. Start week. There is an error. I will also drag the timeline. Again, there's an error. Let's say task four follows after task three. And task five follows after task four. And task six follows after task five. Now the error is gone. Let's say I change my mind. I want task five to begin after task three or task two. then this is task five. It begins after task two. So let's say I'd like to add a few more tasks, another three tasks. Okay. And let's say task seven takes one week. And let's say task eight will take three weeks. And task Nine will take one week. So all I have to do is drag the start week. And drag the timeline. Let's say task seven follows after task six. And task eight follows after task seven. And task nine follows after task eight. Now I have corrected the problem. If I say task seven follows after task five,
So this completes the use of count a function, array formula, sequence, and the sparkline function to prepare an expandable PERT CPM gun chart in Google.